So what we're doing here, always when we do test, I see some people put the pillow under the ankle and it's not reading right. So what's the position of the legs and foot supposed to be? You have to spread a little bit, uh, like 30 degrees, and the ankle have to be inside. So just like that. This is gonna give you more accurate uh, reading and assessment. So yeah, a little bit right in here. And now we come closer. So what I'm looking for here, I find those posterior sacroiliac bone and I'm applying my fingers. I also use the dominate eye uh, side. If my eye, dominate eye is right, I'm always stay on the left side. How to find out which is the dominant eye? You guys watch our video, it's uh, in, in our library. So what I'm apply and what I'm looking for, those which fingers is deeper and which finger is posteriorly. And so what I'm see, my, my left side, her left side is more deeper than right. So what's that mean? That sacrum is a little bit twisted this way, right? Now, I'm going to tell my customer, I'm going to go a little bit lower, right? And I'm going right on that sacrum, and I'm looking which is the deeper, which is the lower. And look, you see that? Now my right is deeper, and the left is higher, right? Now I'm going to tell the customer, I'm going to go right on your uh, glute, but, and I'm going to apply this to this bones, and what I'm looking for which one is a higher, which one is a lower. And I see this one is really deep and that one is not. So it's more, now I'm gonna apply the spine guys and show you what, what I'm exactly what I did. If I put the spine up here, this one was high, right? So that's mean this ilium was that way. So it's turning posteriorly. Also this uh, ilium, that that ilium high this way is that correct mm -hmm. because it was deeper mm -hmm. so that's mean it's deep in deep up there now that sacrum was twisted this way right mm -hmm. this way and that one was the lower now this is like going lower this way let me see if i can apply i don't want to hurt Veronica. So you see what's going on here? This is how it is. Now, when the spine, when the muscle is go tight up here, they also create that concave cavity, right? So it's cavity. So this muscle, this, this vertebra is open. This muscle is overstretched. This muscle in spasm. And look what's happening with, with the spine later. Like if you go up, it's also start twisting, right? So we need to find out, we're gonna, I'm gonna show this later. So now what we're doing here, we try to correct, correct that. And the first correction is going to be on our right side because we want to start moving. Yeah, David, we're looking for PSOS, right? So what we're doing, we just play uh, fingers on those PSOS and see which one is deeper now on, on her. Okay. Next one, we go a little bit down and we spread our fingers right in here, right? And watch those uh, level too. So what we're looking for if sacrum any got any twist. And also we go in on those... Uh, you show tuberosity. Uh, so now we're gonna remove that spine and apply those on PSOS, yes. Mm -hmm. So which one is it deeper? Well... Which fingers is deeper? This one's a little deeper on the left. Uh huh. So deeper on the left, and you you slide down. You let the customer know what you're going to do. You're gonna say, I'm gonna slide my fingers. Sacrum. Uh huh. So now I'm over here. Yeah, we want to go up here. So this is PSOS. We want to go right in this area. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. So slide down. Yeah. So here's the coccyx is there. So this is. Uh, no, you slightly like you have to be right. Yeah, yeah, the right there. Is yeah. there. Okay. Yeah. I thought it was above the coccyx. Yeah, it's above the coccyx. Right. Okay. 
So a little bit uh, like one inch away from the side and see which it's one is a little deeper. deeper on the right. On the on the right. Okay. So this this was deeper on on the left mm -hmm. and now this one is on the right. So it's mm -hmm. kind of like this. So exactly. Right. So, oh, that was a deeper right actually. Mm -hmm. So this is one twisted this way. Right. So and that one is here. Wow. Yeah. And then the why? Like... Because usually, uh, usually this this is that the the sacrum fo following the ilium. If ilium push it down, this one it, this one is pu 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 push it down too. But I'm surprised. So we have twist up here this way too. Mm -hmm. So it's not just that way. It's also going that way. Do you understand, Marina? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Now we're gonna go to this bone right in here. The I I L A yeah I L A. Um, so you find it's it. It's deeper on the right. Okay, so that means this this ilium is right in here. It's popped, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So what what usually happened when this always tied up here? The squish this uh, a disc and the jelly and it's coming right from 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 this side. And what people do, they they usually like start start treating this side because they 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 said oh I feel pain in here yes because it's a jelly donuts rule if you squeeze gel from one side it's come from another so this ilium is really going this way right mm -hmm. right so what we need yeah. to do we need to release this release. tension yeah so we can work manually on those erector muscles uh, QL a little bit release to drop that hip down right and mm -hmm. also as you can see right in here so a lot of people try to pop this area and because because it's, this is what happened right this is what happening when they pop this is what happened that's your pop so it's not recommend to do a lot because the joints right in here and with age with older with older we become that's uh, become the the spine, the, the vertebrae's bone sperm, and that's not like comfortable and always painful. That's but people want to try to stretch this area. You don't need to stretch. You need to strengthening this area. So you need to be create a lot of muscles around that spine to not make them move. You feel stiff. That's why people want to stretch. But it's not stiffness. That's discomfort in here, and that's how feel feel like a stiffness we don't want to stretch this hmm. we don't want to twist this that's been you see it's been spe specifically extension and flexion a little bit extension and more flexion but not not a lot of rotation i believe it's like a 30 degrees of rotation in your lumbar area but people try to go more and create a lot of problems this the the mole have to be mobile it's a thoracic area okay and as you can see, it's all different spine, like one, two, three, four, different. And uh, this area has become completely different. Uh, this completely different shape of the vertebra. Okay, so you see? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's how they connect it together. This is the family right in here. And this is the... Yeah, the, cervical. Yeah, so this is completely different. This one is can be moving around, yes, but not that one, you see, because the shape of the bone. You don't want to push against those joints. All right, so now we're gonna do treatments. You, you wanna put the fingers to? So remember, we just, this is how we measure. The foot. Yeah, foot, uh, foot 30 degrees, and it have to be foot inside. If, if it's not, we're gonna miss, we're gonna miss uh, alignment. I mean, miss, miss measure. Mm -hmm. Find those PSOS. It's right in here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you just place your fingers and which one is a deeper? Uh, you mean which one my finger is going deeper? Yeah, deeper. You but which finger is deeper? Yeah, deeper. okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah, you're right. And I mean, it's three of us say the same thing. Are uh, you kind of more like go in the middle? You, you find that sacrum uh -huh, and you here, go yeah. Yeah. and you come right in here. Mm -hmm. That's okay, it's just like I said, you will learn. 
uh, yes. one question. Some uh, when somebody has a, um, how say it's not broken. Uh, oh, the sacrum, yeah. like surgery. No surgery. It's tear. A, tear. Yeah. Yeah, you just you you measure. What your, kind of massage we should do? Very light. Uh, yeah, you should not probably do like a lot of stuff up there. Just uh, you should work on the glutes probably make its glutes stronger. But if 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 something broke up there, you you not yeah. broke. Ah, it means it tear. Uh, tear or. Yeah. Uh, just always communicate with the, with your customer and uh, do very lightly. Yeah, just start with light manipulation and see if. You know, because sometimes when you're doing the heat, oh, it's feel it's good. Okay, you're doing that, but you don't know is it okay or no. You know. <laughs> yeah. That's... You're just doing some. <laughs> yeah, that's that's that's. Uh, because, oh yeah, it's very good. Thank you. It's helped me. <laughs> that's that's that's. <laughs> feel is good. That's how massage is. Yes. <laughs> Whatever feels good is good. But you don't good. know is it okay or. No? No, yeah. is it? It's okay, it's okay. <laughs>